Hello there, it's your boy from 1996. It is I, uh, Red Flipper Death. Like, this is the best an intro can do. Anyways, I decided to do this little series I'd like to call Low Standards. Because I, I just felt like doing something, you know, for funsies, mainly. Because I'm bored out of my mind, and, you know, there's a whole world we can't explore at the moment. So... Hmm. Might as well go ahead and do something at the time, but waiting for the world to finally be okay. That and I just feel like doing this. It just seems fun that way. Just gotta do, like, an episode each day. It's not gonna be, like, a reoccurring Let's Play series, like, like... Is your phone okay now? Yeah, it's okay now. You can call and can receive calls? Yeah, I, I, I received texts when you already said the first time. <laughs> okay. There's also stuff like that. I wasn't expecting that wasn't eventually gonna get uh, up talk. Well, not talk, but like just any um, background talk from my family because these are not like especially prepared. Low standards is a new series I was thinking of where basically I've been recently um, posting new quality replays ever since you know my Switch came in. And I just began to play some different games. But I decided, you know what, let's get back to what I was doing <laughs> at the start of my YouTube channel area for those who have been staying with me for long enough. And for those who have joined in over the past recent years, you can finally see some new content out of me because you know, you're subscribed to me and such. Anyways, um, I tried doing this way earlier, but then my, my flip camera, which I'll be using for one of my recordings, will be, uh will be... Who, who said that? So I was like, greetings, and I was confused for a second. Well, anyways, um... I'm mainly be recording through different uh, camera medias, all of which have lower quality, which which explains the title, low, sta low standards. Anyways, I tried doing this beforehand, and the video camera died, because, you know, when you get dollar brought... brought, brought Dollar brand batteries, you know they're not gonna last at least 20 minutes tops. Now, if you're gonna play some Oblivion, as you can probably see, I've already installed stupid mods into this thing because honestly, I want an enjoyable experience, even if it's an experience that or which I do not really do that much of, um, do that much of, um, like work myself per se. Well, at least combat wise, I just kind of made this whole like, group, mainly because I kind of like hearing the grunt sounds of other NPCs in battles, because it's, you know, it's Oblivion, it's an Elder Scrolls Oblivion, it's funny. I will, however, I guess, try to engage in a sense, just gotta be really careful, because, you know, if I get hit, I... I like that, I'm almost dead. My health's, like, almost at dead, dead rest. Alright, good job, team. I almost died. Okay, let me go get the... The first crystal staff, which is actually the crystal matrix. Okay, discover first the three focus crystals. You need to put these on these crystals in order to. Okay, let me save it. Okay, there we go. Focus crystal removed. Or yeah, just mainly do a quest. While at the end of the video, I'll mainly show this glitch I found during my time playing the game on the PS3, where I kind of went more of a serious uh, consideration of playing the game. I've yet to beat the Shivering Isles yet. I have beaten um, Knights of the Nine alongside um, the main story quest, alongside some other main story quests like the main story, uh, the side, the main side quest of the Dark Brotherhood is one of them I've beaten. Um, I think I'm almost done with um, the main, the main side quest for um, the Fighters Guild. Mainly, though, I've been doing a lot of quests mainly as a means of getting more followers to help out, because it feels more fun when you're traveling with a large party in these games. I mean, I guess the point of certain, uh, certain Bethesda games is to go at it alone, but you can always bring a few friends. It, it's just more funner when you have a large group of people, because you're like that one enemy, and then you see a large posse coming in. Ooh. Everyone almost died. I believe. Is everyone alright? Okay, no one died. Seraph is just unconscious. Uh, is I may as well be able to heal? Alright, what do you say? Okay. Everyone's crowding out a bit. I gotta go ahead and find. Oh, look, goodbye. 
Oops, I was in the range of that blast. Oh! Oh, I'm dead. Shit, now I gotta do it all over again. Well, this is embarrassing. Let's let's just get through the whole thing, at least completing this quest now. I don't think I have enough time to show you um, the glitch that I found in this game specifically. I'll explain it through, but if I have enough time before the 20 minute marker comes in, then I'll go ahead and um, just explain it. I mean, I'll, I'll be able to show it. I think I'll have to do less with combat because I put the difficulty to basically the hardest difficulty there is. The main thing was me being... I, I created a class in this game called the Pacifist class where most of my skills devolve into just mainly healing and other, and some of the uh, commodities of, um, of usage in this game. Oh no, I have a torch. It, I guess with the large group I brought in and the class I created, it seems impossible for me to really do the quest. I mean, play the game at the qu at the expense of the class that I created, and with the group I am. Okay, that's the first focus crystal. I've done this mission before, though, so I know exactly what I'm doing. Just open this. Open the middle door. There's the Groomites. As long as I stay out of their line of sight in terms of battle, though, that'll be fine. Wait, how did you? <laughs> oh yeah, the partner ring. Sometimes when my um, the partners within this particular mod that I installed um, appear, they sometimes get fused into certain areas, but immediately get themselves out because of the um, the equipment that's given with the uh, mod. Okay, I go down to here. Everyone's fine while while healing, healing minor wounds. Was that a stray arrow, or was that one of them? I can't really tell. Gotta be careful, though, of the one top here, because he has the crystal staff, and lightning is so fast in this game, I can easily die. I feel like I can dodge it a lot easier when I'm playing it in playing Skyrim, the game that preceded this one. Okay, I received the second focus crystal, the Judgment Nexus. Okay. I just, um, I've also decided on the Switch that I decided to amass an army of creating, using particular, um, quests to gain certain followers, mainly though it's a lot easier to, um, handle the followers in, uh, Skyrim as opposed to, um, Oblivion, because with Oblivion, the, um, they've kind of rearranged the follower system, where with Oblivion, certain followers, uh, there's essential followers and non-essential, so I have... The um, common courtesy of having to make sure I keep um, the Kavach guard, uh, Kavach soldier guards um, followers, and the um, and Mazo uh, Mazoga safe through using the uh, mainly through healing them. I didn't know there was a heal uh, there was a healing touch spell at the time being until I found out that I could mainly only get the spell through the gauntlets of the Crusader. They've, I've worked so far on trying to keep them alive in the main quest. I've currently, right now, in my Oblivion save on the PS3, was able enough to, um, to get my, uh, kind of rambling, really. Get my, get my, uh, crew up there without having too much troubles. Luckily, um, I think I'm like so many times. I was able to at least get most of the guards up. Guards, I mean, most of most of the company that I have to bring that are non-essentials. Okay, the third crystal staff. Focus crystal has been applied, and now we begin the next part of the quest. Oh yeah, I gotten two of the companion, two uh, very famed uh, follower companions that talk like ridiculously a lot. It's kind of a thing that the people who created those mods particularly wanted to have. One, they can talk a lot. I've experienced this before with the, the mods I've downloaded for Fallout New Vegas. Mainly though, my, I guess my love for mods is because of a certain person who reviews mods all the time. To the point where they've been doing it for a long time, that they were able enough to... Um, they were, they were able to, um, they somehow amassed, like, a, a lore kind of setting with their mod uh, reviewing. And now the real fun starts. So we're gonna go through here. Finally. Lord Chair Gorham 
has sent someone to assist me. Of course, because... But where are my manners? Right. <clears throat> Must get into my professional tone. <clears throat> Welcome to Zedillion. I'm the dungeon caretaker, Kiliban Nerendil. Tell me about this place. A wonder of engineering, is it not? Well, I mean... Zedillion is the ultimate test of metal for the foolhardy adventurer that dares trespass into the Shivering Isles. All right. What they don't know is that they're being drawn to their doom, courtesy of the Resonator of Judgment. The Resonator of Judgment. Interesting. Tell me more. Since that wretched gatekeeper was made, Zedillion became redundant. It fell into disrepair and was eventually all but forgotten. After only a few years passed, the Grummite began moving in. Ghastly things. They mistook the focus crystals for some sort of religious symbols and removed them from their rightful places. Hmm. This rendered the resonator inert and Zedillion completely useless. Luckily, you came along and placed Zedillion back into operation. Well, that's good. Because honestly, it's fun to, to just destroy yes, anyone. Yes, I, I tend to ramble. You'll have to forgive me. If you have the attenuator, then Shea Gorath must have sent you. Zedillion would normally have sent you back to the entrance when you stepped on the pad in the resonator chamber. Okay. Since you're up here, I can only surmise that adventurers are already entering the dungeon as we speak. Okay. Uh, what did I do with this? I'm afraid until the adventurers are dealt with. Zedillion will keep you here. Even I can't will its doors to open. Oh, good. So we get, basically, we gotta deal with whoever no, comes through here. Uh, no disrespect. Alright, what should I do? The only thing we can do is let the adventurers... I, I think I'll just go ahead and skip to the dialogue, because you can easily find a better a, a better way of this experience in the game without me. I guess if I want to throw a shout-out during my experience playing this game, there's... Um, they were the main reason why I played Oblivion, and that's the LeFay Brothers. Love their content. Like this poly while I was able to buy, uh, like let me to buy both this on the PS3 and the PC. Oh, here's some fun. Giant Norl. Chosen. Before I can. What can I? Okay, whatever. You're doing quite well so far. Keep it up. All right, we'll continue forward. On to the next area. We're just gonna go ahead and choose all the menu options because I do like the perception of the characters not dying. These the reactions are kind of funny. Thanks a lot, Vidya. I wanted to hear about this trickery. I could tell her to shut up, because there's a command for that within her menu, but honestly, I don't really feel like it. She seems like too much work. Adds a little flavor to, uh, I guess I slightly care about what's going on. Keys! Keys! We're rich! We're rich! 
This is obviously a trick to waste our time. I know it when I see it. Yes, it must be here. They're all fake. Just How come with me just now. Uh... God, that laugh. Of a victim to eliminate. Hurry, the anticipation is overwhelming. Okay, uh, I did it already. Okay, we go on to the next area. None of those keys fit the lock. <laughs> Uh, probably death, but I don't like death, so here's some insanity. Goodbye. Fine. What? How in oblivion can I be dead? This, this is impossible. Nothing That's can definitely be. not what he's saying. I didn't even get a chance to fight. No, no chance to defend myself. No chance for battle. Why? I'd like to go for a swim. Ooh, impossible. This is impossible. Grimok has never lost a fight. Never. Wait, it's it says Grimok, but it says Grimokus. You must see they decided to shorten his name. Well, he's gone crazy, and that was the plan. Wait, now. You've made short work of the... Now. All right. Let's keep going. Not too worry. We'll have your spoils. Yeah, what was in this chest? I cannot open this chest. I have to wait for As him to talk. I'll have it. Sit. Oh yes, of course. Beyond that. All right. I'll take this, that, that, this. Well, uh, just take all. There we go. Now we can get the hell out. What the fuck was that? Hello, guys. Uh-oh. <laughs> I just heard, like, a bunch of swords go off. This is nice, isn't it? You're talking about we're in danger. Alright, well, we were able to get out of danger. But we're still stuck in there. Okay, Knights of Order, Heart of Order, Tornish Order of Sword. I gotta go talk to this in, um, to what's his name again? I forgot his name. <laughs> So I remember a lot of names in these games, especially the, since their voices are so ridiculous. That was quite a battle. I hope you are uninjured. You weren't part of the battle. You've not heard the legends? How could that be? I'm new Those here. beings. Beings. All right, now that we got that set all the way, I would go back to... Oh, wait, no, there's a new uh, quest now. Well, I was able to complete the quest that I needed to do. Let's go head back out, and I'll, since I have enough time, I'll go ahead and show you this glitch I found. Which I totally forgot to explain, because they were spacing out. Um, there's a glitch that I found that requires two particular quests that you need to do. Uh, the quest that involves the Jemaine brothers, when you're near the end of the quest, where um, Gilbert and Reynold follow you... Um, to you, so you can bring them to Weatherly that you cleared them out of the orcs. And the other quest is the who the who, from whom the gods annoy, where you help out a uh, Breton who has been having a problem with uh, with uh, scamps since she healed we healed one of Shea Gorath's um, weapons, the, uh, weapons, one of his favorite um, art of uh, Daedric artifacts, the Ever Scamp Staff. When you put those two together, if you attack the Everscamp, like what I'm going to do right now, this happens. The Everscamp starts attacking me, yes, but, uh, let's just say the Jermaine brothers have a weird targeting system. Usually, whenever they're in combat, they seem to target the nearest, uh, NPC. Sometimes, even their other brother. Mainly, though, it's Gilbert, the one that initiates this action. And, well, afterwards, chaos ensues! And what's great about this is that at the end of all of this, if the chaos tends to settle down, you do not get caught and are responsible for the problem. Therefore, you do not receive a bounty or infamy in the process of this whole thing. It'll just be the uh, NPCs targeting each other, mainly because Gilbert became hostile. 
Sometimes this may complicate things, particularly with the PS3 version I play with before, when I first discovered this glitch, is that if, um, sometimes Gilbert or your NPCs might disappear in the process because they're still engaging with each other until there's a certain point in time where I think the coding allows them to stop becoming hostile in the process, but until then, stuff like this happens. Oh, also, while I was back, um, Brother Martin, who's one of the, um, quest companions you can get, quest followers you can get, um, it's not back, because, you know, with the Shivering Idols, you're supposed to go at it mainly alone, until after you've beaten it, you may have, like, a follower there. There's a little, <laughs> there's just a doggo staring into the distance while everyone's fighting each other. Oh, no, one of them died. I think when they said that, one of the partners that I hired was apparently, I didn't realize now, it was uh, not essential. There's an essential version and then there's a non essential. If there's a non essential partner, they'll be dead for good. Oh, wait, no, maybe they're referring to my, um, my <laughs> flame hatronaut. But everyone's being flung around. Get him, Jover! Show that Imperial no block, uh, no mercy. This fight the Diamond Imperial. Oh! Just killing each other. This is what I love about this game. I can, I did not know I could create this glitch, but since I did. It's so much fun to commit to it. Because I, I, I think there was a time where I did this glitch and I basically gained a mass of money by uh, robbing the corpses of the dead Imperial soldiers. That's what's great, what's what's great about this glitch. Is that since you don't get caught in the process of this whole thing, you don't receive a bounty, you can sell all these items with absolutely no problem at all. I think the one, like, downgrade to this whole thing is that sometimes the glitch may not be able to commit. You can't really, uh, do it again, depending if your NPC doesn't disappear out of the glitch territory. Along with that, certain NPCs, well, a lot of NPCs might end up joining the battle, and if they're dead, well, they're dead. Because sometimes in combat, the Imperial Legion soldiers might also attack the, um... Uh, other, like, town NPCs, mainly because of the targeting system. Mostly, I think that mostly happens depending if you engage while they were around near G Gilbert at that moment of time. Other than that, most of the NPCs will be fine. The ones you really just got to profit a lot was, uh, mainly the one, the Imperial soldiers that die off in this whole thing. I remember one time I was doing this glitch again, trying to make money off of it, and through some random co uh, coincidence, uh, the owner of the Divine Elegance store in the Imperial Market died because she was under attack by the soldiers and was killed by them. Alright, it seems now that most of the combat is devolved between my uh, followers. What do you want? What do you want? <laughs> It's great how I'm not the one, like, in the process of this whole thing, I don't get targeted from this whole thing. So if I talk to, like, an NPC soldier, they'll probably just give me the usual NPC soldier spiel. Oh, wait. Yeah, so when doing this process, you don't, um, you're not... <laughs> oh, there he goes! Oh, wait, hold up. <laughs> so you think the game crashed? Oh boy, um, yep, uh, the game crashed. This was a common thing I always see in this game. <laughs> but, um, hold on, can I just, uh, test my there we go. I'm just gonna end the game off there, because it's already, like, it's already crashed. Well, yeah, that's, uh, the first of the low standard series, so I'll see you guys, in, like, basically tomorrow with a new video. Along with that, I'm also gonna post a few replays from my Switch. Because, lo why not give you a long, low-quality video and short, high-quality videos? Because, you know, it's for the enjoyment. Anyways, see you later, and bye. So, don't follow, don't subscribe. I don't call out my...
people who want to join me. You do it on your own agenda. I'm not the one forcing you. Good night.